What is up, good people? Jungle Link here. Hope you're doing well. I've been playing around with artificial intelligence, using it to aggregate a bunch of blockchain data, both on chain and from exchanges, and trying to build out these predictive models that can extrapolate, uh, you know, possible growth for various crypto networks in the future. And it's my goal to uh, be able to post these models in a way where you can run them on your own local machine, change parameters, play around with them, and we can kind of share what we're coming up with. I'll figure out how to do that. Maybe I'll post uh, the code on Medium and you could you know, build these models out yourself and change them. Uh, this first model I did for Bitcoin, to be honest, I think it you know, leverages too much on uh, current pricing data, historical trends, things of that nature. While that is important, investing is an imaginative process where you have to peer into the future a little bit and change some parameters. And this really isn't doing that, but either way, it forecasts that Bitcoin uh, should hit its next peak by May 2025, and that'd be around 116,000. Do I really think that's going to be the peak of Bitcoin? No, I think it's going to go higher than that. But, you know, given the current parameters of this model, that's kind of what it's extrapolating. So I said, you know what, let's take the same logic and reasoning, but let's plug XRP in there. So I did that. And what we're coming up here with is a price of about $3.05, and it would top out around April 11, 2025. Now, when people saw this, they were wishing me financial doom and destruction and hope I sell all my bags way too early. Uh, what I would tell you is I don't think that XRP is going to top out around $3 in this next bull run. And I think, again, this model is you know leveraging too much on current pricing. And when you go the historical data of XRP, of course, we were harmed uh, by the by the court case and all of the problems that came from that. So I think that's going to throw off your future, uh, you know, growth approximation a little bit. That's just what the model, you know, spit out. So I went ahead and posted it up there for you. But again, uh, investing is an imaginative process and you got to kind of tweak things uh, in the future, which we'll do some more uh, more along those lines here in future videos. But I started thinking, you know what, there was a pattern that was recognized by Raul Paul. When he's talking about really with Bitcoin, you have a certain growth uh, curve there. And then Ethereum, he, he believed, and it did, he believed Ethereum would fall on the next cycle, which is the one we just went through. And that is what we saw. You know, Ethereum now is also, instead of a bleeder against Bitcoin, it has been very steady and sustainable. And it's my idea that that now will roll off to the broader crypto space for your really premium altcoins. They're not just going to bleed to infinity against Bitcoin and Ethereum. This will be, uh, you know, a growth curve, a growth cycle where you see XRP, Cardano, Polkadot, you know, your, your big ones, they will do very well and they will get to a more sustainable path where they're just not bleeding out for the whole bear market. And, uh, you know, it'll be a much more even growth like we've seen with Bitcoin and Ethereum. And so I kind of built out a model for that. What would that look like? How high would XRP go? And under that uh, type of projection, XRP, our growth pattern would go a little bit farther. But in April of 2026, we would top out around $13.78. So just another way to look at things if we kind of followed the Ethereum path that it just went through in the previous bull run, this could take XRP in a, a much higher uh, price point and also you probably would hold up a much higher value through the next bear market as well So you won't have those deep 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 sell-offs that are uh, you know long-term in duration and, and I think you will see something like this for again a lot of your other winners within crypto those big blockchains that start getting a lot more adoption They get their own, you know ETFs and things of that nature. I think you'll have more sustainable growth over the long term We'll see how it plays out. Uh, I think this is probably a more realistic uh, price point, in, at least for what I'm looking for. The last model I did was kind of interesting here. It was the NVT ratio. And this is just one of many ratios you could use to compare various blockchains. And it's a key metric for valuing blockchains against each other. It compares market cap to transaction volume. And this was really a really surprising result to me because when you do this, and if you use this metric, the lower the better, to value blockchains, we see Ethereum is actually under the ones I looked at here, the most undervalued, which I was not expecting that. I was expecting Ethereum and Bitcoin to be pretty close, but Ethereum is undervalued based on this ratio. XRP would be second, 
really Solana is kind of evenly priced there in the middle. And Cardano and Bitcoin are on the overvalued side. Now, this is not the be all end all metric. It's just one of many tools, but I think gave me a pretty surprising result here. Let me know what you think down below. As always, please like, please subscribe. The revolution will be televised right here on Jungle Link.